song. Been a good one for us. And uh, do we have any requests this week, Tanya? I know we had a bunch last week that we answered. I haven't seen any this week. No, not no, too many. Maybe. maybe Matt, our trusty technical engineer uh, on the back side of our computer screen here can tell us if we have some requests coming in. He'll put them up on the screen and we will gladly answer those. What would you like to hear, my dear? Just whatever you want to play. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I'm a guy who likes to party. Stay out late at night. I love those party feasts. And those pretty party lights. Should have stayed back at your party when the party lights were there. I was by your side, roller coaster, flashing, crashing, party nightmare. If I ever make it home, I'm more. 
careful now I'll be when I see those party lights started and uh, Matt has put some requests up on the screen for us uh, something by Ray Price somebody wants to hear and uh, surf med I haven't, didn't bring my surf meds with me tonight <laughs> <laughs> surf medley there we go yeah I know I'm just funny and Apache okay we can do those at some point in the show uh, I'm At gonna, the end. <laughs> I'm going to, well, no. He says my mic's a little low, so I'm going to turn the mic up. Why don't right. you talk on your okay. hot mic? Okay, I'm going to tell everybody that we are going to be at Green Hall, Green, Texas, uh, in between San Antonio and Austin, October 23rd. Um, so I heard that it was halfway sold out. They just went on sale yesterday, the tickets. And uh -huh. so if you're in that area, get your tickets now, get your table. Green Hall, yeah, <laughs> Green right Hall, outside. Green Hall, the 23rd of October. Right outside of Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah. the Green Hall, the legendary Green Hall. And Matt is posting a link to buy the tickets. It'll be, the link is in the chat. And you know what else the link is in the chat? Is the place where it's at to put your money, and I hope it's fat. So be a good cat. And, <laughs> and that's the name of that. <laughs> we need the tips, folks. We are doing this for tips only. This is what we're living on. The tips are buying us groceries because of this COVID crap that's going on. And, uh, you know, I would have thought they would have gotten somewhere with it by now. And it just still seems to be. Oh, just get out there and just, the whole, just go with it. The whole country, yeah. That's what I'm anyway, saying. and it's really been hard on musicians, as you know. And uh, we do, we are playing that Green Hall gig. We're trying to put some other things together. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's still, there's still not a lot of uh, live music going on. This would be like the second gig we played in four months or something like that, so five months. So anyway, we really uh, we rely on this, these live streams for our uh, income right now. So we appreciate any tips you can give us. Uh, you can go to PayPal or Venmo, and the little box there on your screen, the link is in the chat, as they say. And now, it's been six months. Yeah, it's whatever, been it's, whatever it's been, it's been Man. a pain in the rear. And 
uh, you know, it's hard on, you know, people. You know, there's a lot of comedians that play these, you know, comedy uh, theaters. And I've heard that, you know, and they, they get in their car and they drive to or fly somewhere and, and do a comedy show and then fly somewhere else like they're out of business. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, just think of all the restaurant people. And oh, yeah. Just and all the, the clubs that have just yeah. won't come back. You know, yeah. there won't be venues um, when it, when this opens up again. So it's all better times are coming. Yeah. Put more water in the soup. <laughs> there's better times are coming, as Jimmy Martin so aptly said. How about a ring of the old cowbell All for right. the top tippers? And uh, who was the top tipper last week? Oh, I don't remember. Don't remember. We'll have to but have Matt yeah. go back and look well, for We've me. got a uh, little, little package in the mail with some goodies for the top tipper from last week, as we will for this week. And uh, thank you again for that. All right. Well, I want to do one now for um, my granddaughter, Sophie, Sophie Carter. She was listening to this the other night and she said she really enjoyed it. So, wrote this many years ago for the, uh, what was it, Mixed Bag album? Um, I believe it's on the Mixed, mixed Bag album, yes. <laughs> I always catch you when you fall, you fool. Now you fall over again. Oh, there's nothing I can do. Leave a hold on you when you run with such a restless, reckless friend. You're running with the wind, running wild. Just go where it blows, and you never seem to know if you can land on your feet again. Stop running with the wind, and come on home again. You're like a ship that's lost at sea. wind can really wail, so I'll just pray you'll find your way back home again. You're running with the wind, running wild like a child. You don't know where you're going or care where you've been. You're still blind in the lie that the wind makes you fly, but when you fall, then we Feel the pain. Stop running with the wind. And come on home again. Go where it blows, and you never seem to know if you can land on your feet again. Stop running with the wind, and come on home, home again. Stop running with the wind, and come on home again. She's my freedom machine. She's pretty, she's fast, and she's tough. 
first time I ever seen a little freedom machine. I knew I had to have a dreamy dream, but so I saved up my money for a long, long time. For the day I gotta make a little real wine. Now she's sitting in the driveway, mine on mine. I bring a little freedom machine. Every time I make this scene in my freedom machine, but it wants to go for a ride. I was talking about the motor, the pretty paint job, all the chrome running down the side. I finally got the freedom that it always seemed so hard to get a hold of when I was 16. Now I'm making up for a few lost dreams and Freedom Feeling this free and Take me back to the days When I was just a kid in my teens Bottle of toys was as close as I could get Ever have on my own freedom machine Now the world looks like a little kinder place With a motor running cool and the wind in my face and when I take it easy, man, and she still wants to race I mean, little freedom is She's long and lame And I see on wheels and I try to drink Now I'm seeing all the freedom I ain't never seen I mean, little freedom machine. Yeah, I mean, little freedom machine. I mean, little freedom machine. bunch. <laughs> Scott, are you watching? Yeah. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Scott's our drummer. The bass player and drummer are very patient, as I said, and I was sort of kidding around about Tanya Ray being the bass player and drummer and guitar player all in one here. But yeah, they're very patient because they're sitting home. We're not hiring them for these live stream shows, but they will be there 
with us uh, for Green Hall, and mm -hmm. uh, and I think we're are we working are we still working on Dallas for the next night? We're, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on Dallas for the next night, and, and Houston, Houston, Houston yeah. for the following night. So uh, be looking on our web page for that. And uh, yeah, we had a little jam session on the front porch the other night. And, well, oh, it was great. The the little village here where we're where we're living. I thought we were going to get some complaints, but everybody said, no, play more. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> and so they were very kind. They enjoyed our little uh, disturbance of the peace, <laughs> as it were. All right. Well, uh, porch here, picking. Yeah. Um, do you want to do you want to do we kind of pulled out an old duet that we used to do many years ago. It's an old Ernest Tubb song and Ernest Tubb had done it. Loretta Lynn had done it. But I, as, as far as I know, they never did it as a duet. So we decided to put the two together and do a duet. It's called, um, Woo! <laughs> it's called, uh, yeah, we went over it and it may be a little rough, but uh, you get the idea. It's called, I'll lose my mind before I'm over you. All right, let's see if we can get a Leon Rhodes intro here. All right, two, three, four. <laughs> Get it through my head You love another now instead Can't make myself believe we're really through I'm walking up and down the hall Talking to a silent wall I lose my mind before, before I'm over you, you. I think I've almost lost my mind I think about you all the time I'm going crazy, yes I know And I don't have far to go The way you treat me is a shame But I'll keep loving you the same I'll lose my mind before I'm over you Do you remember that song? And I said, oh, yeah. And he sat there and rattled off the yeah. words just like that. And well, I thought, how do you do 
do that. I managed to mess them up right here, but uh, <laughs> folks don't care. You do know the words, though. I do know I, the yeah, words, but I, mean, I was you trying, have to, I was trying to be Le- I was trying to be Leon Rhodes and Bud Charlton all in one. And yeah, well, you got a lot going on, baby. Ernest Tubb, Leon Rhodes, and Bud Charlton. That's a that's a full plate there. That, that is. <laughs> So, well, you get the idea. It's a good old song. <laughs> should, we, should we go for go for two and do loose talk? Oh, no. No? <laughs> well, we tried that last week. That no, we didn't. Good. Well, no. we did it. We no. did it recently. No. It's been a we few weeks. We have to leave here. Yeah, that's been a couple of weeks. Oh, boy. Well, another dinner. <laughs> we'll work on those. Another dinner, dinner table practice session. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back. Let's start and see if we can answer some of these requests. Folks, thanks again for your kind uh, visits to the electronic tip jar. We really need it, as I said. Venmo or PayPal, right there on your screen. In the, the link is in the chat. The link is to it all is in the chat, the chat room. Oh, stupid, stupid blues. Oh, I knew they were going to request that sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, we got a request for Sugarfoot Rag. Let's go ahead and play that, get things going a little bit here. My dear friend Hank Sugarfoot Garland came out with this many years ago, and it became his signature song. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Little oh, early for that one. I thought I thought played that last chord pretty good out on the porch the other day. I don't know when. Let me try that again. That was a little better. No, uh, not much. <laughs> okay, well, we got one good thing about it is we got one of the requests off the board. So that is Sugarfoot Rag by Hank Sugarfoot Garland from Cowpens, Georgia. One of the greatest guitar pickers to ever come down the pike. And he was a dear friend of mine. And, uh, Miss him a lot. Okay, well, um, let's just let's do this. There's another request on there, and uh, boy, you don't have to don't have to ask me twice to do this when it was uh, kind of the song that took us off hamburger and put us on steak. <laughs> Called "My Wife Thinks You're Dead." See if you remember this one. To see you, baby, it's been a long, long while. We're both a whole lot older and seen a lot of miles, but things are really different now since the good old days. And you've been in some trouble since we went our separate way. We'll have to say hello, maybe some other time instead, cause you're wanted by the police, and my wife thinks you're dead. Somebody spread the rumor that you had lost your life. At least that's the way I heard it. And what I told my wife, I hear you showing up again and talk is getting wild. And I can see that one of us will have to leave this town. If you think that I want trouble, then you're crazy in your head. Cause you're wanted by the police and my wife thinks you're dead. And disappeared. Nobody knew what happened where you've been for all these years. Now trouble that you're looking like the trouble's where you've been. And I can see the kind of trouble you could get me in. You better pay attention to every word I say. Cause you're wanted by the police. And my wife thinks you're dead.
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. My wife thinks you're dead. Good song. Wrote that song in 15 minutes, and it won me a CMA award. Yeah, not too bad for 15 minutes work. Uh, the video, that is. It won video of the year for the CMA. And yet, does anybody out there know what CMA stands for? <laughs> be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Well, let's just say it's the Country Music Association. Uh, yeah. And uh, if, you, if anybody wants to comment in and let me know what they think CMA stands for, uh, okay, I think I'm digging my hole and I need to just climb out of it real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it was nice to win that award. Beat out, uh, beat out several big old stars on that one. It was a good one. It was a good one. George Strait sitting there in the audience going, <laughs> I'm kidding you. Uh, he's got plenty of awards. What's he griping about? Well, um, you remember last week somebody had requested, uh, I'm all fired up. And I've worked... <laughs> I worked hard on that, trying to, re, you know, learn the words again. That's the one I wrote, but, of course, there's no guarantees that I will remember the words just because I wrote it. But uh, I wonder if I could give that another shot. Oh, let's wait. Should we wait? <laughs> Ain't no good getting low down. We're looking to get thrown in a can. Yeah. Let's try it. No good getting low down when you're looking to get thrown in the can. By driving 90 mile an hour, getting speeding tickets from the man. Well, I'm just mad about this girl. But she's gone and I'm mad at the world. I just laid a patch of rubber down the road about a quarter mile long. Cause I'm all fired up, I'm all fired up and lonesome. I got a chip on my shoulder, and I'm acting just a little too tough. Been revving up the motor, and tonight I'm gonna strut my stuff. I'm as mad as I can be, and I'm mad at what she done to me. I'll burn a hole in my pocket with a roll of my last two bucks. Cause I'm all fired up, I'm all fired up and lonesome. I'm fired up and lonesome and I'm on the spree. That woman ain't all gonna get the best of me. If you're gonna hang around, then I gotta warn you. There's no telling what a lonesome fool can do. But I got no place to go. But I know a thing or two about driving down a long, lonesome road. I'm just doing the best I can. I'm taking my licking like a man. But I'm tired of always feeling like I'm gonna be her sitting duck. Cause I'm all fired up. I'm all fired up and lonesome. That's about all I want to try on that. I've already messed up the words, but I'm giving you an idea of how it goes. I'll work on it some more, and we'll try it again at a later date. I'm all fired up and lonesome. Hey, hey. All right. See, I'll try anything on this show, even one of my own songs. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's about time for you to show your stuff. Now that I've shown my uh, <clears throat> stuff. I wanted to get about that. was so fun last week. I want to do that again. Uh, all right, we'll do that. <laughs> this is one from Tanya Ray's uh, album called Meet the Misses. 
came out a few years ago, and we, we've been selling those on the Internet. A lot of people like the album. And uh, it's got, uh, this, is one, this is a song that starts it off. It's got a good duet on it that was written for us by Paul Kraft. And um, I know you'll enjoy that and several other great songs. So this is going to, I think, didn't we give away one of these albums last week? For, I uh, think so. I think so. I think we ought to give away another one this week for our top tipper. By the way, we need your tips big time. Please go to that, that little part of your screen right there that says the link is in the chat. And you can pay on Venmo or PayPal. We appreciate everything you can do for us. All right, I'm just a gad about. One, two, three. How many want to hear that? Stop it. The applause is deafening, folks. I need attention bad.
I need a little petting, a lot more than I'm getting. I need attention bad. say I need some tension bad I don't, need any of that. I don't know why where he was coming from I think he was maybe he was feeling a little bit uh, <coughs> laid back <laughs> all right oh, I'm glad I talked you into that one of course you didn't have much choice I sort of forced <laughs> you into that but anyway okay well we need to we need to do some of these uh, Oh, we got a request for Phantom of the Opry. All right, we need to do that here in a minute. It's a slower one, so let's pick it up with the... Uh... I was born way well out in the country Twenty-some-odd years ago that's the original version, as you know. I left home for the very first time. I left home for the very first time. When I was four years old, I'm a four man. My home's on my back. Orange Highway For the back road and not a railroad track Well, I got an old white guitar Sack. Well, Hawk did it back 200 times, but I always get it back. I'm a free boy, man. My home is on my back. No ranch highway. Every foot of back road or a mile railroad track. San Antonio. Well, I always loved the girl next door, and any place was home. I'm a freeborn man. Home's on my back. On the ranch highway. Put a back the wood of a mile of railroad track. Well, you better like my 
stop hearing. Song. Uh, man, I like the way I talk, but you like the way I'm gone. I'm a freeborn man. Uh, I'm a boy. 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 I'm a freeborn man. For the back road and an hour on a road track Freeborn man There it is Thank you very much Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> Alright Woo Liquor. 
And you're talking all out to hell. You're drinking way too much liquor, baby. And you're talking all out to hell. You don't quit that drinking. Pretty soon you're going to be dead. And that ain't no place to be, baby. Stupid, stupid blues. Hey, by request. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're whittling down the requests on the screen tonight, folks, and we remind you, if you have any requests, write them on the back of a $100 bill, and, <laughs> well, we can't exactly do that. Electronically. <laughs> Just electronically go to your PayPal or Venmo account, which is located in that little screen in front of you with the, the little square around it, right? The little box, which is called the chat. And the link, the link to tipping bliss is in the chat. <laughs> She's like, where is he going with this? Uh, speaking of where is he going, <clears throat> we're going to be at Todd's Garage. Next week. Next Saturday, and it's going to be an earlier time. We're going Tad's to do Todd's Garage. Todd's Garage. Todd's Garage. At 6 p.m. Central Time. 6 p.m. Central Next Time. Night. So it'll be an hour earlier than, than <clears throat> tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll mark that down, folks. Next Saturday night at, uh, yeah. You remember Bowser from uh, Shanana? They actually had a TV show for a while, and it was kind of. You know, centered around him. You don't remember him. Mm -hmm. He was the no, wild. I was too young. The wild guy. <laughs> yeah. Hilton Garden Inn. Uh, quality establishment. Not not a bad establishment. If I do say so myself. Okay. All I'm right. You for that one. I don't know where I was where I was going. Um, highway Patrol. Was I going to the highway patrol? I think, you were. I think the highway patrol is going to come pick me up yeah. with, with, the, <laughs> with the way the way I'm uh, fronting this show tonight. I tell you, okay, we had. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that old highway patrol. I got a star on my car and a one on my chest. A gun on my hip and the right to arrest. I'm a guy who's a boss on this highway. Well, watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. If you break the law, you hear from me, I know. I'm working for the state, I'm the highway patrol. Well, you'll know me when you see me, cause my door's painted white. With my siren is screaming and my flashing red light. All day and I'll work all night Just a-keepin' law and order Trying to do what's right If I write you out a ticket Then you better drive slow I'm just doing my job I'm the Highway Patrol I'm the Highway Patrol The Highway Patrol My hours are long and my pay is low But I'll do my best to keep you driving slow I'm just a-doing my job I'm the Highway Patrol Like you shouldn't do, can bet your boots I'm coming after you. 
If you wanna race, then get on a race track. But if you try to run away, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm here to keep all the speeders driving slow. I'm just a doing my job on my highway patrol. Yeah, I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol. My hours are long and my pay is low. But I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just a doing my job on the highway patrol. I'm just a doing my job on the highway patrol. How about a ring of the old cowbell for the old highway patrol? Whoa, come on, come on. Tighten up, tighten up, get it together. All right, let's, let's see if we can answer another request right here. <clears throat> this one, uh, this was about a place called the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, Ryman's probably been shut down too. I hope it's not boarded up. And uh, this, uh, it was the home of the Grand Ole Opry from uh, I think 40, no, from, uh, yeah, from 40, 41, 1941 or 42 until uh, 74, at which time they moved the uh, Grand Ole Opry show out to an amusement park called Opryland, and uh, and the whole downtown area there, where the Ryman Auditorium is located, started going into de decline. It was really getting kind of rough down there, and not the kind of place you'd want to go after dark. And uh, little by little, um, they started revitalizing that downtown area, and it's come back as a huge tourist attraction now. And it's all fixed up, a lot of businesses down there. And they've refurbished the Ryman. They almost tore it down. I'm glad they didn't. And they've made it beautiful. And we've, they've actually had started having some Opry shows, Grand Ole Opry shows back in the Ryman. And uh, uh, we've been fortunate enough to play some of those. And this uh, Opryland is no more Opryland. It's Shopryland now, by the way. <laughs> it's a shopping mall. But uh, the rhyme is going strong, and of course so is the Grand Ole Opry House, the newer one out there where uh, Shopryland is now. But uh, I still prefer the old rhyme, and I'm just, I just love the music that came out of there. And, and this song is about those years of decline when... Uh, and they almost tore it down. I'm the Phantom, the Phantom of the Opry. I've been here since 75. Down in the basement of this old Opry house is where I choose to reside. In 75 was the time my kind of style began to slide and really started taking a dive. Since that year I've been living down here, shut away from the world outside. show upstairs since 1974 now that they started making noise again I heard them poking around the upper floor some snoopy kids or rhinos on the skids could discover my secret life cause I'm a fat on Folks are scared to come around here at night. I'm the phantom of the 
Opry I don't listen to the bugs and the mice The only sound that I hear Is the music sweet and clear The way they played it here on Saturday nights Was it that long ago I played my first Opry show Hung around with Hank Snow and the like Now I'm a phantom of this Opry like some ghosts from another life. Last night I had a dream they discovered me just like some episode from Scooby-Doo. I said if it wasn't for those meddling kids and their dog I'd have probably gotten away with it too. Woke from the dream and things was not what they seem. Is this some scene that I created in my mind? Am I the phantom of the Opry? Just a relic from another time? Am I the phantom of the Opry? Has it been? Such a long, long time. <laughs> Peeling taters. somewhere in the middle of that. All right. Okay, okie dokie. Well, they've got a request on here for a Ray Price song. Would you, do you have one you would suggest? Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, Ray was a good friend of mine, and, uh, of course, we've, uh, here in the last uh, few weeks, we've done it, done it a couple times. A song that I did on the uh, on his induction ceremony into the Country Music Hall of Flame, Flame, Country Music Hall of Fame, and uh, it was it was a it was a big deal to me. I really enjoyed performing that night, and uh, someone found the video of me singing that song with Ray and Johnny Paycheck and Leon Rhodes and the, the whole gang, Ralph Emery sitting right out in front of me. And I'm standing there in a tuxedo, no, no band or anything. Matt posted it on our Facebook, oh, so you okay. can click on there and watch it. Oh, good deal, yeah, yeah. You, can, uh, you can see that. It was recorded in, uh, well, I think it was 97. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And, um, 
Well, let's give that a try. We'll do that for to answer the Ray Price request. If all our love is through, if you found someone new, I want to hear it from you. If there is no mistake. If my heart must break, I want to hear it from you. Just the thought of losing you is more than I can stand. This heart would be much worse if I heard it second hand. If there's no hope at all, and if my world must fall. I want to hear it from you. So tell me now if things are not the way they used to be. I want to hear it from your lips. You owe this much to me. If all our love is through, fan out there enjoyed that one I uh, I'm of course a big fan and friend of the late great the late great Ray Price okay well all right we've got a request for Tanya Ray's song the one we came up with on a rainy afternoon and it's a good one it says handyman on there so tell them all about the handyman all right <laughs> All right. 
handyman. Mikey. I can hear him screaming out there. <laughs> I can hear him going for their checkbooks. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him going to Venmo or PayPal. If you like that song and some of the other stuff we're doing, please give us a tip. <clears throat> I think it's time for the surf. The link is in the chat. Yep. The link is in the chat. Well, we still got some more. We can keep going, can't we, Matt? Uh, we'll see what Matt says. We're going to try and keep it going a little bit. Of course. Of course we can, he says. All right. Matt Riney. Oh, that's, that's right. Long as you <laughs> want, he says. Well, that could be all night. I, I, I think we could just turn this into one of those front porch sessions. Well, we'll see the lights when she when she drives up. If she had the address. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, well. <laughs> well, she just have to wait. This is important here. This is somebody coming over. I'll tell you what I'd like to do now. Um, a Hawaiian song that's very pretty. And we did this on the porch the other day as well. Uh, this is one. Tanya's going to tune that guitar up a little bit. And uh, I, uh, I had the pleasure of living in Hawaii for a while, and I really soaked up a lot of the music over there, really loved it a lot. And uh, one of these days, I, I hope to record a Hawaiian album. This is called, uh, it's an old standard, very beautiful standard, as a matter of fact, called Beyond the Reef.
think I, I think I went under the waves a couple yeah, of times. Was a party. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty one. Can you all do harbor lights? How about belly high? And can you all play ebb tide? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I can do a Hawaiian more chant. Vince Gilligan wanted to hear when we played a party for uh, why does Better Call Saul have a question mark after it? Are they wondering if I can remember the words? <laughs> we, did a, we did a little bit of work for the Better Call Saul. Tell, oh, he took the question mark off. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Vince Gilligan had, uh, had me uh, do a little acting on... Uh, a show called The X-Files many years ago, and then when Better's Call Saul came out, he had us do a promotional video for that show and also some of the little bit of the soundtrack work. And uh, I don't know, I guess I can remember a little bit of that Better Call Saul. I hope I can. Um, Maybe drink I can. One, drink two, drink yeah, there. Thank you. I needed that. You drink <laughs> one, drink two, drink three Long Island iced teas. But your buddy's worse off, and he throws you his car keys. Blue lights start blinking, and handcuffs click. Only one gotta call, man. You better call quick. Better call Saul. <coughs> you better call Saul. You want to tell the world that you're in love with a gal named Fran? So you get an overpass and you say it with a spray paint can. Bright lights start Something when bright lights start blinking three o'clock in the morn. Stay trooper makes you wish that you'd never been born. Better call Saul. You better call Saul. Saul, Saul, you better call Saul. You fight for your rights when your back's to the wall. Stick it to the man, justice for all. Yeah, you better call Saul. You better call Saul. Saul, I remember. <laughs> okay. Well, we answered a little bit of that request there. Oh, hula hand. But he wanted to hear Rock a Hula Baby by Elvis Presley. And I had actually recorded that song. <clears throat> she says, you're on your own. That was an A, wasn't it? That's been, what, several hundred years ago? Well, 
Even heaven bound And when she starts to sway I gotta say Yeah So when she moves her hips Her fingertips I feel I'm heaven bound And when she starts to sway I gotta say She really moves the grass around Rock Hula baby rock Hula baby got a hula loo From a hana loo I rock a hula baby a man Rock Hula baby rock Hula baby got a hula loo From a hana loo I rock a hula baby a man Well, I love to kiss my little hula miss I never get the chance I want to hold her tight all through the night But all she wants to do is dance Rock, hula baby, rock Hula baby got a hula loo from a hula loo A rock a hula baby of mine Rock, hula baby, rock Hula baby got a hula loo from a <laughs> yeah, we we actually did that song on the Conan O'Brien program. And, uh, the band, the house band there, the Max Weinberg 7, did a great job for us backing us up on that. And if anybody wants to dig that video out, I'd love to see that Throw one. It Throw it at me. I want to <laughs> see that. Yeah, that was a good performance on that show. We got a lot of, a lot of cards and letters for that one. Okay, oh, they want to, man, they are, they're a Hawaiian crazy out there. We're a re request for hula hands, all right? That uh, Irish family, the hula hands. The lovely hula hands. Ha, 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 ha. Lovely hula hands, graceful as the waves in motion, gliding like the gulls over the ocean. Lovely hula hands, nobody. Lovely hula hands, telling of the rain in the valley. The swirling winds over the pali, lovely hula hands, Tony Marotti. I can feel the soft caresses of your hula hands, your lovely hula hands. Every little move expresses so I understand. All the tender meaning of your hula Fingertips that say aloha Say to me again I love you, lovely hula hands Tolima Wadi
soft caresses of your hands, your lovely hands. Every little move expresses so I understand all the tender meaning of your hands, fingertips that say aloha. Say to me again, I love you, lovely hula hands, Darlene Aladi. Your lovely hula hands.
request Apache as well as Lullaby of the Leaves, part of our surf medley collection available on our records, <laughs> our CDs. Speaking of our records and CDs, we want to tell you all what the top tipper of the week is going to get. Now, want to get back to the tipping. We really need you to get out there and support us. Buy us some groceries now. Uh, go to uh, Venmo and PayPal. In that little, the link is in the chat part of your screen there. And uh, we, we appreciate anything you could do for us. We, uh, we're trying to answer all these requests. And uh, Tanya, uh, I am going to go grab a couple of albums, show them what they're going to get this week, and a poster that we're going to send off too. Did we send a poster last week? We've got to make sure we, we do that. No, and if you think you might be the top tipper, we need um, to take care of that. Check, you know, if you, <clears throat> oh, uh, when you've tipped, sometimes we can't find addresses for, for you people. <laughs> so we will send you a message uh, through Venmo or PayPal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, if you think you might be the uh, top tipper, go back and check and see if we've notified you to get your address. Uh, because a couple of people have been top tippers, and we'd send them a message, and we never hear from them, so we can't send you your goodies. So if you would uh, check that, that would Speaking be... Speaking of goodies... <laughs> Here they are. <clears throat> now, I'm away from the mic, so tell them what this is. Okay, there's the poster. Junior, oops, there, there you go. Junior Brown poster. There you go. And what else you got there? Advertising the album. Uh-huh, Junior High. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Thought that just about went over. That went over well. Yeah, well. that did. <laughs> what is this right that here? That is Meet the Misses. Meet the Misses, yeah. Tanya Ray's album. Yeah. And let's give them, let's give them. Uh, Live at the Continent. Yeah, the Apache and uh, Lullaby of the Leaves. And, uh, and several a lot of good ones on there. On the medley. Yeah, this is a live album. Now you're out of the light. There you go. And I think Matt was going to put a link on uh, our site there where you can go and buy um, a, cup, a few of Junior's albums and, and my album. Yeah. So was that right, Matt? You can buy the... Oh, the, he's the, working on that. Working on the audio. You just uh, we're you waiting. pay for it. Huh? No, we're waiting, waiting for something. Waiting, waiting for okay. iTunes. Okay. He said we he'll post, post it, it on there. We'll okay. post it on Facebook. Okay. When he gets it on there. So. And then they Watch can, for that. And, but they can already access the uh, um, Deep in the Heart of Me album because they've been buying yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah, they, okay. we want to thank you for buying uh, that one. As over the last year, it's been yeah. on there. And it's, you just go there and you, you order the music, right? Mm -hmm. You don't get the, the cover art or any of that, but you get no, the but music. No, but you can see what it is, yeah. Oh, you can see the graphics. Yeah, you can see the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who needs so. to buy an album anymore, right? Just do it know, I, It's just like having a book. I just like having a book in my hands. I can turn the pages. No, don't say that. They won't order any. Oh, well, order it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you can order a, a CD from us. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> if do you'd that. you rather have a CD. We uh, have our little store um, at uh, juniorround.com. That's it. And you can order that there. And uh, he, Matt says he will po post the link to the store right now so you can see where you can get T-shirts and hats and all that good stuff as well. Okay. All right. Pictures. Are we going to the house? We're Head at the house. Oh, we are? Yeah. Head to the house. The old Glock on the wall. I mean, clock on the wall. <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm under the gun here. <laughs> Drum roll. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I'll work on that. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your kind donations. As I said, we need them, and we appreciate them a lot. Thank you to all the Jane... Jay Neiman, yes. Cheryl Carson, uh, all, the, all the folks that have uh, uh, 
been helping us out throughout the weeks. Uh, Brona Lore. You're doing great. Yeah, I remember these names. <laughs> Jimmy uh, Bowman. Jimmy Bowman. Not Aaron Caldwell. Jim, not Jimmy Bowman. Jimmy Bowman. Mm-hmm. Jim, well, who? That's it. Okay. Is it Jimmy Bowman? Because there's a guy, there's a producer in Nashville named Jimmy Bowen. That's how I remember. Jimmy Bowman. You're right. You're right. Jimmy Bo- Bowman. Thank you. Who else? Let's name a couple other ones. Do we have a couple other people I, we can I thank? Oh, come on. Come on. Let's stretch it out. Stretch it out. We got to work for these tips. We'll work for tips. Right? Okay. If you don't tip, then we'll come over to your house and have dinner. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You better watch that. All right. Thanks again, friends. On behalf of Tanya Ray, Matt, and uh, everybody else who's made this little production pros- possible. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Thank you again. I want to keep playing. Can we do a couple more? Let's go. let's do let before we go. Let me just do this one. This was our my first record. It was a little forty five, and we sent this out last week for our top tipper. It was a little forty five RPM record, little record with a big hole in the middle. One of the first ones I ever wrote called "I Got to Get Up Every Morning Just to Say Good Night to You." My first one. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Some strange guy waking me up half past five. Seems like staying out late is all you do. It's getting pretty plain to see the night owl you turned out to be. I gotta get up every morning just to say good night to you. Well, one look at those bloodshot eyes and my head starts to hurt. I'm coming home with alibis when I get up for work. So baby, quit staying out so late. I gotta get up every morning just to say good night to you. Clock rings and there you are Falling out of someone's car Told me you'd be home at half past two The break of dawn is your best friend I'm telling you gal, this better end I gotta get up every morning Just to say goodnight to you For you to change your schedule Is something that I doubt Every day I punch the time clock About the same time you pass out The morning coffee's your night cap Little all-night maniac Gotta get up every morning Just to say goodnight to you I gotta get up Just to say, just to say good night to you. Just to say good night to you. We got to say good night to you, friends. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do the flip side of that. We'll take it out with the flip side of that little record. One called Too Many Nights in a Roadhouse, Too Much of Wine, a Women and Song. Too Many Days on a Highway, Then I Run Around. I'll take a good look in the mirror 
in the cold gray light of dawn. Too many nights in a roadhouse to run a little good boy around. Running with my buddies on the wild side, I got me stuck in a rut. Out on night with the roadhouse crowd, now I'm down to my last two bucks. Pushing way too hard, trying to live too fast, putting too many wrinkles on. Too many nights in that old roadhouse, I run a little good boy wrong. Too many nights in a roadhouse, too much of wine, a woman and song. Too many days on the highway, when I run around the line. Take a good look in the mirror, in the cold gray. Too many nights in a roadhouse I run a little good boy down Some kind of life that I was living And it wasn't too hard to tell Blues come around when the sun went down And my days didn't fare too well I shouldn't want a taste of the good life Then the good Lord came along He said too many nights in a roadhouse Has run a little good boy wrong Too many nights in a roadhouse Too much wine too many days on the highway, then I run around all night long. Take a good look in the mirror, in the cold gray light of dawn. Too many nights in a roadhouse, has run a little good boy wrong. Too many nights in a roadhouse, has run a little good boy wrong. in that old roadhouse. Next week, folks. Thank you. All right, Tanya Ray. <laughs>